We have some really world-class edible mushrooms here. Um, probably one of the most commonly eaten mushrooms across the world, and certainly the commonly, most commonly eaten wild mushroom in Maine, is the chanterelle, these little golden beauties. And related to it, and easily as good to eat, is the black trumpet. Um, it smells a little bit like shaved chocolate when it's fresh. It's very it's distinct. Wonderful. We're going yeah. to be cooking with, with those today. And they are one of my top three favorite mushrooms. What uh, are the other two? Oh, I'm sorry. Probably morels not. and the and the hen of the woods, okay. the maitake, but it varies from year to year. And do, do you do you cook them all the same way, or do you are you um, no. cook them differently? No, you you need to learn the mushroom and its its flavor and its strengths. So chanterelles, you always cook in butter or or oil mm -hmm. as the black trumpets because mm -hmm. their flavor elements are are fat soluble. So okay. you need to start there. But other mushrooms are different. This one, is, I'm sorry, I've done distracting okay. you, but. How would you cook the, what would you do with the mayatake? The mayatake is very versatile. Uh, sometimes I make a meal of it just by um, chopping it up and sauteing it in a pan with olive oil, uh, maybe a little bit of garlic or onion, and some salt and pepper, and then have it over rice. Okay, it's, it's very fibrous. It's yeah, quite, very firm. quite meady. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And an excellent flavor. And also, it's one of the mushrooms that I, I say, I call it a twofer. Because oh. it's a great edible, but it's also a very wonderful medicinal mushroom. Oh. It's, a, it's a, an immune stimulant. It's oh. used in some countries as a, to help treat cancers. And it's being studied in this country uh, for approval by the Food and Drug Administration for just that. So what else do we have? We have some honey mushrooms. Oh, which are so beautiful. Which are, uh, oftentimes grow in clusters, and you can see the cluster here on wood. It's an edible mushroom, but you must cook it first, as you mm. need to cook most wild mushrooms, because mm. it'll make you sick if you eat it undercooked or raw. They have a sweet thing. Yeah. And we have a couple of varieties of um, cultivated oyster mushrooms. They're just the straight oyster mushroom, and they call this um, the trumpet oyster or trumpet mushroom. We have the classic portobello cultivated also. And then we have two varieties. This one they, they sell cultivated as a pom-pom, but over here is a wild variety. Um, they call it the comb tooth. Another, these are both edible and medicinal mushrooms, um, being studied a lot because they have a, a, a compound in them that stimulates the nerve growth factor. So oh. it's being looked at to to treat uh, things like Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Oh, how wonderful! Nothing that proven be. yet, but mm. it's got some great promise coming up. Mm. Yeah. And then this one has a lovely scent. Yeah, and they say you know. It's, it's called the sweet bread mushroom because it smells a little like a like freshly um, ground meal. Um, and it's, it's not as easy to identify. It's an edible mushroom that grows in the woods, um, usually a little earlier, but I just found those this morning. Mm -hmm. And what about these little ones here? Now this is the one bolete that we have. Oh. The most famous bolete is the porcini or steinpilz. And this is a more common, they, this grows with white pine, and sometimes it's called the white pine bolete. Mm. Um, edible, but What's not What's the definition incredible. of the bolete? A bo the boletus or boletes are rounded, they look like a mushroom, um, but rather than having gills underneath, the knife-like edges like you see on the, the amanita, um, they have little tiny tubes, little pores, and that's where the spores are made. Oh, I see. Um, so that's... All the all boletes share those characteristics. Let's talk about these before we go in and, and do our, uh, Great. Our, our little cooking demonstration. We have a couple of medicinal mushrooms here. This is called the birch polypore, and called because it always grows on birch, just like here. And it's a kind of a tough, like a sh pencil eraser texture. And it, it's a medicinal. Um, some people say that you can eat it when it's very, very young, though I never have. It quickly gets quite bitter with its medicinal properties. And this black, ugly thing is another medicinal mushroom called chaga, which makes a wonderful medicinal tea. How do you do that? Do you shave it and then, um, and then steep it in? Yeah, well, I grind it up into a, into a coarse powder. I make a tea out of it. I also mix it with spices. It makes a wonderful chai, and I sell it as a chai. Now look at this. This looks like a shell, something you find at the seashore. Yeah, that's called the birch or the oak maize polypore. Um, and, it, and you can, the maze is because of the shape of that um, pattern of, of the pores. Which is beautiful. Yeah, and some of these are medicinal. Um, this one is just, I collect it because it's beautiful. Right. Yeah. 
So we're going to go into the kitchen now and cook something. Sounds great to me. That must mean... <laughs> must mean I'm cooking or you're cooking. Who's cooking? You're cooking. All right. <laughs>